strange to think of so much adulation, money and hype being generated from this one rather scruffy old room. In 1963, a five-strong band from Manchester came for an audition and landed a contract. 30 albums and 50 singles later, three of them are still recording here, and they're still called The Hollies. Twenty-eight of The Hollies' singles cut in this room have made the charts. Take My Love and Run is their newest attempt. I mean, in those days, you could record an album in three hours. It was just like doing a live thing straight onto, straight onto tape. It was better in many ways, because you knew when you came in that you had to actually play and sing, and that had to be it. It wasn't a case of, oh, well, let's just get the cowbell down and we'll build it from there. It'll be wonderful. That's taken out a lot of, a lot of magic away. I'll tell you something funny, it's only like in the last couple of years that I've been coming into Abbey Road and people have been saying to me, this is the room where it all happened. You know, and I was saying, I know, I was there. You know, 25 hits then. It's very nostalgic to walk into this particular room because this is, I don't think they've repainted it in 18 years, you know, because they want, they want to keep the sound. And it does keep it, it's, it's a great little studio, a lot of memories in here, a lot of nostalgia.